Okay. Yeah, this picture of my dad. He was nine. Right here. I'm sorry. Right here. He's 19. He's already smoking. Um, oh. And he's working on an airplane, making an airplane. Uh, and there, there are two engines. And this is an airplane that lands in the uh, of Douglas Aircraft that ended up in the Smithsonian. They're in the Smithsonian now. Uh huh. Well, I learned everything from him. He was the yeah. he was a craftsman. I tried to make airplanes as good as he did for years and years and years, and I couldn't do it. Uh -huh. I could uh -huh. not uh -huh. do it. Now I can. Now you can. Now, now I can you, now make anything as good as well, he did. In fact, but, you took uh, it further. Yes, he was so good. And I also, I have a model airplane. I have a model, and you he know. was one heck of an engineer. There you go. And I needed him, and that's his one of his airplanes that he made. Up there in that cupboard. That's all I have left of, of what he what he has made, and it's it's an absolute beauty. But oh yeah yeah oh it, yeah right I can I can see it through the glass. He uh -huh. made the prop. Everything he made all of this. This isn't from a kit. In other words, uh, cut out all the balsa wood and absolutely drew it up. Okay, taught me how to draw. That's how I know how to draw. Well, you see, of the yeah, hand. yeah, because if you didn't know how to draw, you wouldn't have been able I, to. I can't do this work in the cupboards without drawing. Exactly, because you have all the documentation. Yeah, he taught me how to do that. You know, with the because you have to. I, I mean, otherwise nobody else can do it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And all in the living room. All in the living room. <laughs> all in the living room. In the living room. My poor wife, but and she puts uh, up with it. That's right. Lights and high ceilings. You, you have to work with what you have. Exactly. You, you can just do it with uh, wherever you are. And of course, here we are, your, your table that you pull out when you're working. See, yes. there you go. Both sides pull out. And then it there has rollers I put on the bottom. I can roll it wherever I want. Exactly. And of course, this is now. Um, there we go. This is how the Venus was built. Yeah. And this is the fall of 2000. So here's the small form. And here's the beginning of the big Venus. Fall of 2000. made out of very simple materials. But made exactly the way it's supposed to. Here you can see the strings. Uh, can you say something about how you how you made these how how you made the form with these strings? Well, I had to bring two uh, pieces together and then interlock them with two others. So uh -huh. they were like my hands. Uh huh. And so then I ran. The, I had the right shape mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. both those, and I put them together. Uh huh. And all I had to do is run the string. Uh huh. And then and you I get connected the right, them. And yeah. then you get and the I right form. Got the right form. Look, look at this. Aren't, aren't the strings beautiful? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, I can see that also. You know what? With you want to take you that do, out? Yeah, what you did with the cube. Yeah, I did and that with you, the cube. Yeah, you've got your head in the plaster. <laughs> You also do yeah. it with the chest of hadron. Yeah, yeah, you can just do it with the strings. Yeah. And people, I mean, this is what children should do. They, they should be doing this, this all the time all in their the classes. Time. Exactly, exactly. With different forms. And of course, you want to see the cube. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, spin the cube, because I don't think I've ever seen you spin the cube. So, here's a cube, a cube spinning. Okay. Yeah, you can see it. What beautiful. You can. 
beautifully. And if you bring this motion into rest, yeah, it looks like this. And why? This this is showing you what's going on in movement. Yeah, exactly. Let me see if the, yeah, I got the curtain in behind. That's really good. Yeah, there we go. The wonderful, isn't it wonderful? Uh, how these to do these things? Yeah, this is better than any toy. This is playing. This is playing, but uh, through the playing you find out. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. And uh, what I like about uh, the Venus form is you have the most uh, simple um, materials that anybody has access to. String and cardboard tubes. Yeah, yeah. That and then how, yeah. how, how heavy did you say the thing is? Oh, it's 30 pounds. 30 pounds. I can lift it like this and hold it up myself. Yeah. With yeah. 30 pounds, and yeah. it, you don't have to buy mailing tubes. No. You just go to these places that have rugs and the. the uh, and they'll the, give it to you. Yeah, they give them to you free. Yeah. Doesn't cost any money. Yeah, yeah. Not a cent. I want you to put this on the internet too, this. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, Frank, can you maybe tell me something about these boxes? Well, um, I had found that the Chesterhedron fit into a cube, and so I thought uh, I would try to find out how many could be um, put into the cube at the same time, and I found out that it could hold eight. Uh huh. And so I took. Uh, these uh, different color strings, and I put this, the uh, same color for each chestahedron. Uh huh. And uh, and I found out they had this beautiful relationship, which is uh -huh. which is uh, this is string theory for me. There you go. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is the real string. This is a real string, string theory, and that allowed me to be able to make this sculpture. And this sculpture are eight chestahedrons put together and it's so uh -huh. interesting that it makes a spiral and they're all interconnected inter all, interpenetrating absolutely they're all interpenetrating and there's all a lawful geometry and it's a beautiful star oh a lovely it's absolutely just a lovely really gorgeous star and dynamic too very dynamic and it's and it's all lawful yeah and this is how you do it this is how you you can put any form inside a cube and test it out so all you have to do is uh, tape it up with a little bit of... Yes, you have to get the marks, of course. Yes. And you can see all the grading here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I then you get the here. marks where they are. And there are 42 strings in here, not one of them touch. That is amazing. You're right. It is. They, none of them touch. No. 
So oh. that's three dimensional weaving. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. What a project for the child. You know, like a 12 year old boy, I can see. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do. Absolutely. Very good for children. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see how and they are. And you can buy these cubes right? anywhere because they're used to hold basketballs. Oh, right. After a basketball yeah. game, they get championship or whatever. And they, they put it in a box. They, this they, box oh. right here. Wow. This one, they put the baseball in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why not, eh? <laughs> yeah, they don't cost a fortune. They're cheap. 